hi beauties welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl in mantoni ac so in today's video i'm here to change my own week to a new week so this is all what you need in making that so i have here my dumb cap which i order it from amazon and i have a pair of scissors i have a a tea pin, a needle, a chalk, a thread, and I also have this hair clip to hold the hair down. We have this also, this all we have to make the wig. So let's get into making the wig. So this is the wig I'm about to change. I just finished washing it. I made this wig when I was in Nigeria and i need to change it the wig cap was too big and even the way i saw it was somehow so right now i'm about to change it to a smaller wig cap so let's get into losing the wig i'm using this cut out the thread and it will make the work so easy for me you can see I'm just cutting where I have the thread. So this part is the hardest part because I have to be so careful so that I will not spoil my closure. I can't believe I make this week. Oh my god. So the closure is out and this is it. But this time I think I'll not use everything I have to cut because when I made this week I was just a new I can't really know what to call myself but watch me doing this in a better way. Yeah, so this is out, so I have to pin it down. So at this point, I'm taking this side out and also this side. So I'm making use of only this part. Let's cut it off and get to work. So I'm going to sew ear to ear. So I'm done sewing that. So right now let's take the wig cap out and cut the excess wig cap out. So at this point, because the closure is not a new one, so I'll be very careful in cutting it.
my marker is dry so right now i'll be going in with my chalk my white chalk and i'll be marking where i'm going to sew like here i'm going to skip the damp part here or even if i'm sewing at the damp part i'm not sewing with the elastic i have to pin my tape down so that i can mark it well i didn't bin i'm not out of my marker marker will be very very good You see, this is one of the different when I was making the other one. I had no idea of what to do. So that's why I was sewing anyhow. Hope you guys can see it. All right, let's get into sewing the bundle. So I have my two T pin and I have to sew it and i'm not sewing it with the elastic under it so i always pin my bundle down so that it will be easier for me to sew the hair on the wig cap even though i have a mark on it on the wig cap i have to still pin it down and it will make my work faster so i'm starting from the one i lose at the back because it's a little bit shorter than the front side. Deep in and I pin it down. And I continue sewing. Try as much as possible not to sew the elastic back. 